Hey, I'm in Portland and I'm doing a grocery haul at a store that I've never been to before and you probably won't hear about me going to again anytime soon because I don't think they have it in California. But I've heard about this store on YouTube all the time because I watch Frugal Fit Mom and she always talks about Fred Meyer. And I went there and it was like, first I was shocked that it was so big. I've never seen a grocery store that big. It was like Costco size, huge in Portland. Cause I was looking for Trader Joe's to get water. It turns out Trader Joe's was further away and I happened to find Fred Meyer and I'm like, let's go there. So I went and I wanted water, but I ended up getting more stuff. I spent way more money than I expected to, but I got stuff that I never get to get in California anymore because um what is that store cost plus clothes and I would get this every now and then it costs plus but it would cost like almost I think it was probably like three dollars a bottle because I used to drink this when I was a kid my parents would give it to me when I was sick clearly Canadian and I love that stuff when I was a kid I, it would be like my treat when I would get sick um so I went to Fred Meyer I was looking for water and then I got this. It's more than the Trader Joe's water, which is like 15 cents a bottle or something. And then I got the Clearly Canadian, which I think that's technically a water. Yeah, sparkling water beverage. And then I saw these croissants. They were regularly $4.99, but they were reduced to $2.94 and it's a big box. And I got that so I could have this for breakfast in the mornings and I can have it with me to take home on my trip because I'm taking a train trip so I'm gonna be hungry and then I got some Morningstar sausage to have with it for my breakfast while I'm here and to take with me when I leave I'm on the train and as you can see I already start drinking on water because I forgot my water in Seattle in my hotel refrigerator and I haven't had any water since because I haven't found anywhere to buy any water since at a reasonable price so I picked up some guac and I picked up some, some guac because I picked up some chips and I'm gonna have that with something that I bought that I, I was like shocked by and like I was confused by when I went to the place but and when I post these videos later, you'll be shocked. And then I got some string cheese because I like string cheese with my veggie sausage. And I have two kinds, original and maple. I would have got both maple, but they only had one maple. And I was disappointed in Portland's veggie section. Like, I would have expected them to do, like, way better than, like, my small town um veggie section morning star i was expecting to find some stuff where i'd want to try and take it home and i like to have the string cheese with the sausage and a croissant because at home i'll have it with a sausage a croissant one of the croissants from costco with the cheese and then i'll have a pickle and tomato with it and have it like a whole meal but I didn't have a pickle, tomato, and then I'll add avocado too, and that's really good on a croissant. But this is what I got at Fred Meyer. Oh, and then I even got a Fred Meyer card. I didn't know you needed a Fred Meyer card. So I got my Fred Meyer, or my Freddy Rewards at Fred Meyer. If you were wondering if I really need to go to Fred Meyer, because there's, a st oh yeah, the, even the box says it's Fred Meyer. Let's see. How much did I spend? I spent a lot, but I don't even really care because I didn't get that much, but I was so happy to have the water. So I spent, oh, it went down because it was going to be 50 something. Uh, It was going to be 50 something, but then they took off because then they told me I could get a Fred card while I was there. So I saved $5.50 and I paid $47.65. Yeah.
yeah for some uh two big bottles of water four case like these uh two cases not even a case it, well i guess a case because it's four in a container container case and then i have tortilla chips guac how much did that guac cost i don't know i just picked it up because it was cheaper than if i went to chipotle and got it and it probably tastes better than chipotle Oh, the chips were a dollar. I think it was. Oh, the chips were. Oh, wait. I can't really see because my receipt's messed up. The chips were two twenty. Oh, I thought the chips were a dollar seventy nine. They were more than I expected. But they're like the fancy blue ones. I never buy these because those are expensive. Blue corn. I haven't had those probably since I was a kid unless somebody gave them to me. And the Canadian Dry was normally $7.99 a thing, but I think it was, oh, okay. Yeah, it was on sale for $6.99. That's why it says $5.99. They don't tell you how much they take off at the bottom. So I guess my savings was 50 Wait, no, not there. 40 cents oh wait no it's a wait. i think it says i saved 250 off here or something oh so these were cheaper than i thought they were because if it says i saved 250 yeah um yeah i saved it says i saved 250 so i didn't even pay the 6.99 i thought because it says 7.99 but i guess i saved 250 and it says something Oh, that's for the other waters. The plain water it was one forty nine a bottle. I didn't mind. I was tired of walking, and I just came to town for a little bit. Oh, that guacamole was five seventy nine. Even with the guacamole and chips together, that's still way cheaper than what I paid for chips and guac when I bought them in Atlanta. Because that cost me like eight something, and it was like one time eat. That'll last me uh, quite a few times to eat while I'm here. And oh, the Morning Star sausage was four ninety nine a bag. Uh, and the croissants were two ninety nine, and the string cheese was five ninety nine. So I spent forty seven sixty five. That was a good deal. And am I upset? No, I got chips and guac. I love chips and guac. On my way home, I have food to eat this time. I didn't have any food to eat today besides some M&Ms I had left over because I was having, in Seattle, I had a hard time finding food. Yeah, food, it's not that, it was either really expensive or food I didn't like. And I didn't want to pay that much where I had to go to like a sit-down restaurant because my hotel was near a bunch of sit-down restaurants, but... I couldn't find like a Chipotle or something that was easy. And then by the time I was, oh, wait, no, I did eat yesterday. I ate yesterday. I had that um, crab sandwich thing and I had the leftover. I had, oh, I actually did eat today. I had clam chowder. I ate the clam chowder for breakfast, but it was like an early breakfast at like six. And some M&Ms and water, but I haven't had water since like 1030 this morning. And it's like 6.34 now. But this is my Fred Meyer haul. And I'm excited because I'm going to have this when I go home and eat this stuff. The croissants, the sausage, and the cheese for the next few days so I can not spend so much money on food. And then I have chips and guac to snack on. And then I have the waters. Yeah. And I might even go back and buy more water. Yeah, I'm really debating on walking back to get more water before I leave. If you like, watch and subscribe. Thanks for, for always talking about Fred Meyer. And then I finally saw it and I knew what it was. And I was like, yeah, I spent a lot of money. But because I spent let's, at least six something because I had to pay a recycle fee for the waters. And if I would have bought those in California because they don't come in a case. And I don't, I don't even think they sell them in the, my local grocery store. And those cost, they probably would have cost way more than that. Because when I was buying them, when they had them, it cost. Plus, I was paying like three ninety, like two, three ninety nine a thing. 
And that was a couple of years ago. So that was a good deal. I'm happy with all the food. And that cheese will last me way longer than the trip. I'll have that to take for work for at least a few days because I like to eat my string cheese. But that's a few. 24 will last me more than like three or four days. Yeah, so that's the end of this video. And I'll do another video. And the next video really shocked me. It, it shocked me where like the guy looked at me like, yeah. But I'll explain that later. Bye. Watch and subscribe.